Hey, church family and friends, happy Thursday. Thanks for joining me for a couple of moments. Wanted to give you a quick word of encouragement and share with you some things that are happening here at East Claremont. Remember that this weekend, of course, Saturday night at 6 p.m., we will have our online prayer time. Hope you join us for that. That is such a blessing. It's been that way for me, and I hope it will be for you as well. Uh, that'll be a Zoom meeting. You'll need an invitation. So if you don't get one via the email, let us know. Mail at eastclaremont.org, and we'll be sure to get you one of those. And then Sunday morning, 9 9 a.m. Of course, we'll have our Bible study. That'll be online. 9 a.m. That will too will be on Zoom. And that'll be right before our worship at 10:30. So, so quickly making notes of that. Then Tuesdays, of course, at 10 at, at noontime, we'll have a quick 15-minute lunchtime prayer. It'll be on Facebook. It'll be live. Love to have you join us and and pray with us at, at that moment as well. Now, as you can see, I am in the church fellowship hall. This was built in 1962. This was the very first worship center, the very first sanctuary. It was right here, and it, was, it served as a sanctuary until 1975, where we moved into our present building. But right now, it serves as our fellowship hall. And every first and third Friday, our Ladies of Tabitha's Ministries get together and they're busy making hats, they're busy making quilts and blankets and putting together care packages to send all over the country. And so I hope that you'll be praying for them uh, during this time. And it's not that they haven't had anything to do, they've been busy making masks and that is an incredible blessing. So when you pray this week, lift those ladies up and ask that the Lord bless them and bless that ministry. Now, you've probably been looking at the news, listening to the news, and you've been seeing states reopening, and you've been hearing the plans of in California as far as uh, phasing in the reopening is concerned. And maybe the question comes up to you, when are we going to open up? When are we going to, to come back together and worship? And I wish it were tomorrow, but we do not live in a pre-COVID world anymore. There's gonna be a number of things that we're going to have to consider and to, to actions that we're going to need to take in order for all of us to come in safely so that we do not, not, not just catch the virus, but spread the virus. So, so we're busy right now as a staff looking at the data, reading and, and listening and watching what others are doing and what others are saying. And we're going to try to assimilate those, those issues and, and put them together and share those then with our church council. And then we're going to put together a, a plan where we can clean everything, where we can make everybody and everything safe so that we can come back together and worship in a safe environment, the uh, best that we can to protect everybody from catching or giving away this virus. So, so be praying for us with that. And in the meantime, I hope, and it's my sincere prayer, that you have taken advantage of this time, these eight weeks plus that, that we have been locked down and we've been staying at home. I hope that you've been taking advantage of this to seek God's face and that you've been looking for him and, and returning back to your first love. Because what a, it's such a great opportunity, and I know that that in this, these times it has been a, a, a life changing experience for me as I've sought His face, as I've worshipped, as I've prayed, uh, and and as I've prepared uh, videos like this and sermons and Bible studies and all those kind of things. It's been a blessing for me, and I hope that it has been for you. And it, and if you haven't taken advantage of it. No better time than today to get that going and to seek him out. You know, it's in these moments, and, and maybe you may not be afraid so much as catching a virus as it is the financial hardships and the unknown on that side. You, you may not know how you're going to pay the bills. You may not know even if you have a job or if you're going back to a job. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty. I read today in my quiet time in John 6 where Jesus was walking on the water. And what was interesting is that as Jesus got closer to the boat, as he was walking on the water, the disciples still didn't recognize him. And when they didn't see him, they didn't know who he was, they became afraid. They became terrified. And Jesus had to say over and over and over again, it is I, it is I, don't be afraid. It is I. Don't be afraid. And what's interesting 
is the words that he used for it is I also says I am that I am. And it's the very same words that God said to Moses there in the burning bush when Moses said, what is your name? God says, I am that I am. We need to remember that I am that I am also means it's me. He's there. When your eyes are on Jesus, the fear goes away. And so my prayer today for you is that your eyes would be on Jesus and you would look full into that wonderful face of his. You'll be able to see him, I promise you. He wants you to see him. And when you see him, all the fears fade away. And my prayer for you today is that all fear fades away in the light of his grace and, the, and, and his presence. So take advantage of it today, please. I love you. Let's keep our eyes on him together.